I'm Nikita Shukla. I'm SJ Magazine Women of Excellence Woman to Watch. So I've been working with the Clinton Health Access Initiative for the past three years. And that work is really about bringing health systems and hospitals to countries in East Africa. I'm a 2022 Pickering Fellow. Basically, Ambassador Thomas Pickering for the last 30 years has sponsored 50 fellows every year to go into public policy or public affairs or some sort of international relations masters. So they'll be funding my, my schooling for the next two years at Harvard um, as I receive my master's in public policy. Then when I come out of Harvard, I'll be uh, stationed abroad in the US Embassy working as a diplomat. So I specifically want to focus on South Asia because I'm South Asian. Um, and India-US relationships, specifically in women's empowerment and gender equity. So trying to you know, bring STEM to women in India, trying to uplift technology literacy in India as well. I'm very, very passionate about just like giving women the tools to succeed and specifically South Asian women. Well, so my family, they immigrated here from India in the 80s and 90s. And you know, there's just so much struggle. First, just as an immigrant, there's so much struggle. And then there's also so much struggle as a woman who has immigrated and trying to find your place. And I was lucky enough to have a family that was really supportive, but a lot of people don't. And so, you know, I just wanna give back to my community. When people see me, I hope they're inspired that, you know, a child of immigrants, a South Asian woman is able to break so many barriers. I mean, I really never thought I would be at the position that I am now and just doing the work that I love so much. I didn't think I would, make it this far and I hope that any South Asian woman, any person of color, any child that is watching me is inspired if they do want to go into international relations or international affairs or wants to make a difference that there is a path out there that doesn't have to be the traditional path that a lot of South Asian communities push which might be you know science and technology and medicine. So I do hope that you know children especially in my community uh, are excited and empowered to do something like this.